Well, as soon as I pulled up, I knew what type of situation there was a lot of fire coming out everywhere. Uh, it was a lot worse than most ones to respond to, so I immediately started looking for these guys because they're the ones that can actually help in that situation. We were probably the third unit on, on scene. Engine 23 and Engine 30 were already on scene. Uh, as the first in ladder, what we have to do is take uh, inside search, uh, inside division. And um, so that's what I assumed is inside division. And uh, we already had reports of uh, uh, children being inside. So we, um, we entered as fast as we could. Uh, and um, we immediately started searching for the children. Prior to us arriving there, they had, they had knocked down quite a bit of the fire. Um, so when we got there, it was it was knocked down quite a bit. We went in. It allowed us to go in because um, previously I don't think they could even enter the structure. It's pretty pretty hot, but just pretty low visibility inside. So we were and we knew that there were children in there, so we were doing uh, search for the kids, trying to get them out as quick as possible. At first, I was under the impression that there was one child. That was the information I wanted to get. Uh, we followed Engine 30 in. They went straight back to that bedroom. Pretty, I mean, they found the first child fast, within seconds. And as they were bringing him out, something told me that we should probably go back in that bedroom and check again. I, I just had a feeling there might be something else. And we went in there, and, and there was another child. Um, I saw him right away as soon as I went in the room. And, I called on the radio to tell them we had a second victim, and that's when uh, Jamie showed up right there, and we just grabbed him and took him outside. But I, I just feel fortunate that we were able to get there fast enough to hopefully save two of the kids. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, in 21 years of this job, that's the first time I've pulled a person out of a house that lived. I mean, I've, I've made a few uh, rescues where the people didn't live, so it's a good feeling to know that we were hopefully helped those two. Like I said, it's unfortunate that the third one didn't make it. But we do the best we can. Mm -hmm. One thing I'd like to say, <clears throat> and I, it may have made a difference, is make sure you have those smoke alarms and that they work. I mean, that, that could have made a difference if those kids getting out of the house before it got to the point where they were injured. You know? uh, to me, that's probably the most important thing anybody, any parent can do as far as fire safety in their house.